Number 10, become a producer, okay? And that goes all the way through, not just what you do, but how you think, okay? I look around and I think 90, 999 out of 1,000 people are consumers. I look on Google App Store and I look at an app, you know, that you know, like Google Maps that is beaming the most advanced, incredible technology from a fucking satellite so that I can go on my motorbike and press a button, point to where I want to go on a map, put my headphones in, and a lady tells me where to turn, okay? It knows every street in Thailand, so I don't have to fucking think about when, when I'm going to a new place, I can go to Google Maps and it literally tells me where to go. That boggles my mind that that exists and it's fucking free. And you look online at, at the reviews for the app and it's one star and it's a guy complaining in all caps about how the app didn't work for his new phone and yelling at them thinking that the, the Google developer himself is reading his fucking retarded review and is going to go change that app right away. You know, instead of being incredibly grateful for the fact that you know, th this is available. You know, he they just have this, the average person just has this entitlement consumer mentality that, that everything should just work and that they, you know, they don't even think about what it takes to build something like that. Um, I have never written a negative review. I've never posted a negative comment on someone's free videos. I've never posted a negative comment on a blog or a forum because it, I'm a producer. I am not in, entitled to consume a bunch of things. I don't think like a consumer at all. When I see a guy successful uh, who's doing better than me, um, you know, in a niche that's similar to mine, I think how how do I do that? What do I take from this guy? You know, what can I copy from this guy and make and make my own? Uh, I think that about everything in life. I think about everything from the producer's mentality. Okay, you gotta learn how to be a producer. And I know that a lot of you guys aren't going to have money or maybe you're, you're not ready to start uh, or you're or you're need to bankroll your business okay learn how to be producer if you're gonna to have to work a job for a while to build your bankroll up like I did work a sales job I learned more from sales than I ever did in school okay I, I watched and I asked questions and I learned how much revenue we needed to do every month I learned like in my last job in ad sales okay I learned that our branch did five million a year in revenue. I, I knew that 2.2 million of that went to overhead and salaries. Okay, so like 50% of that went to overhead and salaries. Um, I learned how to chase revenue. I learned how to get more revenue out of clients. How to how to get clients. How to upsell clients. How to service clients. How to deal with angry clients. I learned everything about being a producer. And, you know, over close to a decade in sales, that knowledge is, is invaluable to me, okay? Part of the, the reason I have this business is because of that knowledge. Every single article and video I do is a sales case. I'm selling myself as an authority to you, and I'm taking a problem that you might have, and I'm selling you on a solution of exactly how to do that as an expert. And, and my sales training, it's all part of that. The way I write my sales pages, the way I decide which books to do, and I'm actually, I've actually got a book coming out on that called How to Sell, which is everything I learned in sales. Um, keep an eye out. That's coming out in the next month. But learn how to be a producer and take on a producer's mentality, okay? Forget about being a, a debt-ridden consumer. Put that shit in your rear view and become a producer. It's so important. Number 11, cut contact with negative people. People. Okay, you can't be a go-getter surrounded by no-getters. And if you're serious about personal transformation, a lot of the time your friends aren't going to be able to handle you, the new you. They're not going to respect you, and they're going to cut you down, and you know their depressive mentalities are going to wear off on you. You just got to get rid of the negative people. I'm not saying get rid of all your old, old friends. I've kept a, a couple guys who I've been friends with for 25 years, and. I wouldn't trade their friendships for the world, even though they they see the world, you know, the the traditional way, and I'm I'm I see the world in a very different way. I love those guys, but they are all, you know, they're not negative guys who bring me down. Every time I see them, um, you know, we have a good laugh. But 
the new friends that I met out here in Thailand are Redfield guys. They're go-getters. They're, they got online businesses like, like me. They think like me. And it's very important to have that around you. And I will not hesitate to cut someone off instantly. Okay, I cut I cut guys off all the time. I meet a new guy. I bring him out with the guys. And then I decide that he's not for me. And I cut him off. And I'm ruthless with that. Okay, and you guys got to be ruthless with that too. Because you are the, the people that you surround yourself with. You know, their state affects you. And your state affects them. And... This is especially true if you're the low man on the totem pole. Like if you're coming out of high school and you were like the low guy in your group and you were the guy that everyone stole points off of and you were fucking sick of it and you're ready to, to make a change, you got to get rid of all those guys because they'll never accept your transformation and they're going to hammer you at every turn um, when you're trying to better yourself, okay? Get rid of negative people. So important.